is Erica Glessing. I'm the CEO of Happy Publishing, and my guest today is an amazing new author. I'm so excited to have her on with me today. I feel very honored. Um, Maria Paris is a specialist on gut health and taking really taking control and being tuned in to your body. So welcome, Maria. How are you? Hi, Erica. I'm thrilled to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so what got you interested in learning about the gut? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I became fascinated with the gut because I discovered that all disease begins in the gut. And when I started diving into what that looked like and how could I use that information to help heal myself, my body, mind, and spirit, I just went down that road and haven't stopped. I love it. And you say, I love your guts. I think that is so funny. <laughs> I do. I love your guts. <laughs> When you're looking at, you know, really healing from a major disease, I mean, we're kind of in a short time zone here. So maybe just tell some advice to someone who is now facing an autoimmune disease or some kind of like chronic issue that they've really given up on. What's, what's some advice you could give to them? Well, my first advice would be to really watch what you're taking in, in your gut. So look at things like food and um, look for non-GMO, gluten-free anti-inflammatory types of foods. And then I would go into toxins, environmental toxins, um, such as what are you cleaning your home with? If you use candles, are they non-toxic? Uh, if you use plug-in things, definitely throw those out. And, uh, <laughs> and yes, also shampoos, lotions, soaps, all of these things matter of what you're putting in and on your body. Well, because we spend so much time worrying about what foods we eat, but it sounds like it's a much bigger picture as far as like um, turning into like really being healed from something that's chronic. Everything matters in terms of food. And, and it's a challenge nowadays because if you're not eating non-GMO, gluten-free, organic foods, you're virtually getting um, glyphosate on a daily basis, and that's a pesticide, an herbicide. And that gets down into your gut, and it goes into your stomach lining, and it causes what's called leaky gut syndrome. Yep. And that leaky gut syndrome is the start of all of the disharmony in our bodies. Wow. So I know that you yourself came down with Hashimoto's. What is that? Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease in which your body is basically fighting against your own body. That's why it's called autoimmune. It's, um, and the, the link is the thyroid for Hashimoto's. So it goes into the thyroid and it starts in a sense, sending all the troops to attack what they think is attacking your body, but your thyroid is not attacking your body, but your body thinks that it is. And that's with every single autoimmune. So whether it's diabetes or Guillain-Barre syndrome or any of those, it's your body trying to attack a bad guy, but in fact, your body is doing what it's supposed to do to fight some kind of virus or a bacteria or, or fungus or whatever it is, and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, except that it doesn't know the difference between the good guy and the bad guy, and so it gets both, and wow. that's where we have that chronic inflammatory response in our body and that's what we need to really try to manage with food. So tell me the name of your book and tell me a little bit more about it. Okay well my book is called The Essential Gut Awakening Mastering Hashimoto's and Other Autoimmune Diseases and it's really my journey of uh, going from a really beautiful life wearing a size and you know just feeling really good and fit and healthy and then going from that that being able to hike and and work out to being a complete almost sloth if you will <laughs> because I had no energy no oxygen in my brain I could not function I could not think and um, it, it's I discovered natural plant wisdom and kundalini yoga, breath work, all of these natural things that anyone can do from wherever they are to help get their, their body, mind, and spirit back into an alignment. You know, what just showed up for me as you were speaking was our society today, it seems like there's, we're 
we run on such high stress. There's so many high stress incidences. And then if you tune into social media, if you tune into the news, you, you have awareness of horrible things that are going on because there's always horrible things going on anywhere. There's also good things going on as we know, but it seems like there's more stimuli for a stress response than I don't, I mean, my kids, they have more stress than I had, you know, not that I didn't have any, but I certainly didn't have the kind of stresses that they are exposed to just on a daily basis. What can we do if we're finding ourselves kind of not knowing what to do with all that stress? Oh, I love this. I love this question. So my best advice is to take a pausecation. It's time to <laughs> cut out the news, cut out the phone, the technology, and to really take a break, take that pausecation away from the people in your life that like to drain your battery versus energize your battery. Oh, right. Nice. And so it's, it's important and it, it can be a challenge because everyone loves a pity party, right? People want to bring you down with them to commiserate how bad they feel. Yeah. So really important to set your boundaries because if somebody's like stuck in quicksand, so to speak, right? The worst thing you can do is, is try to jump down in there with them and help them get out because then you're both going to sink. Yeah. But if you reach down and, and put a hand out, and you try to pull them out, you're going to get pulled in too. So the best thing you can do is really just offer, you know, some guidance and say like, there's a branch right there, take it, <laughs> but not get down into that negative kind of pool with them. And so what the posication mindset is, is taking the time for yourself for self care knowing your boundaries of what works and what doesn't work of what's negative and and just you really just need to take some time away from that and it's okay to set those boundaries for yourself so that you can realign with your true purpose and mindset wow love yourself you know this has just been a fascinating interview and i could just talk to you for hours but why don't you let our audience know how they can reach you and find out more Ah, well, you can reach me by going to my website, which is mariaaparis.com, and that's M-A-R-I-A-A-P-A-R-I-S, and you can just reach out from there, and I can't wait to know you. Let's be friends. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.